friends welcome to tech talk tech so today we will see how to run ios test and real device using following setup so in my previous video one of the video i'm just showing how to, how to run the real ios test in simulator so this video will be uh, help you on to run ios uh, setup as well as apm setup and um, the web driver agent setup as well so so please uh, go through this it will help you for uh, in running the test in ios real device so the setups are these are the in my machine setup what i am using so my mac os is 10.12.1 and apm version is 1.6.3 so and then apm java client or 4.21 and ios device version is 10.2 so all almost all latest version i'm using almost all latest version okay so let's start let's start the setup okay, so before that just i want to check uh, the apm is installed or what let's check apm okay apm is not installed so let me install the latest version of apm apm install iphone g apm So probably the setup is already done in uh, the normal iOS simulator setup. So if, if you can, you can go through that. So let me set up once here also. So this already has uh, in GitHub. You can go through that how to set up the. APM driver basically that is the main thing APM dot com slash PM loading okay. so you can go to this APM XA unit driver so, so once you install the APM so you need to go to the documentation so you need to follow some set of things so you need to install some of software some of the brew dependencies all those things yeah so these things already done with that i was simulator setup but i am just going through that i'm not installing since i already installed all those dependencies so you need to install i device installer cartridge iOS deploy and device console and exit pretty so you need to install once the <coughs> APM is installed properly so next <coughs> you need to do the real device setup so real device setup you can do the manual configuration so we need to and so once you APM is installed you need to go to navigate this folder from terminal and then run uh, these are the commands like once you run and open the webdriver agent dot x code project in x code there you need to change the uh, signing process so that this i am going to show how to do that and also just build it from once it's done just close the x code simulator sorry x code and then just build the project using this command with the your UDID that's it okay and more one more thing if you are using iOS 10 you need to install uh, Libby mobile device pro dependency and also Libby mobile if you are using iOS 9 yeah let's see it's still installing okay it's cool so now the APM is downloaded properly so it's downloaded all the dependency files 
cool so next you need to go to this folder your driver agent folder fine so so before that you need to install all the dependency external dependency and libby mobile all those things as i mentioned in my previous video if you want i can tag it that previous video in the description cool so once it's done so you need to go to you need to run these two command under the web driver agent folder so the web driver agent folder will be cd url local name, node module inside the apm node module apm x you need inside web driver agent cool you need to run this and there is one more command uh, shell script you need to run this also so basically fetching the dependencies awesome so now open it just open this one in xcode so here i forgot to mention the xcode version so x my xcode version is 8.2 cool this is launching in xcode cool so here what we are going to do now so we will be uh, signing webdriver agent uh, lib and webdriver agent runner these two we need to sign uh, we need to sign in a dev certificate so in order to do that uh, you, you need to have the, your apple account so it's whatever it is it's your personal or company what whatever it is whatever the account this is you need to sign it and developer certificate so what i'm going to do so just uh, enable it uh, just i'm taking this wait for it's creating the certificate awesome so webdriver agent lib is created so again webdriver agent runner selecting that it's registering creating okay the problem is this id is not registered with that dev certificate so what i'm going to do i'm just so, so previously i just changed you can do it now would have built setting from that so it's already added some piece of code i'm going to remove that so ideally it's in something like the com.facebook.webdriver agent so i'm going what i'm going to add here com.facebook. Uh, i'm going to add test that's it com.facebook.test.webdriver agent cool awesome so now both uh, webdriver agent lib and webdriver agent runner are uh, signed with my dev certificate so now i'm going to close that xcode cool so once it's done so what you need to do you need to run one xcode build command so i'm just copying it i'm just go to that terminal from there i need to run here so here you need to pass your device id so where you can get the device id again go to the xcode in xcode you can get it from yeah so here you can get it from window device and that is my device copy this just put it here that's it just run this it started building it's asking keychain access hello always it's hello it takes some time to build code sign and everything encounter okay so what is the issue run this so 
it is building the project from command line okay so so whenever you are getting this issue so the problem was and you, I'm, I'm, I'm going to show that now okay so just I'm um, putting that yep so the problem is the, pro the problem is here so I can't able to launch it says untrusted developer okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to settings in the setting general from the profile device management here I am going to trust my email ID yes trust so now so everything is fine let me run run it once again so you can see the app also got installed is got launched good awesome so so whenever you are getting such kind of issue the target encounter an error so just make sure that your certificate uh, your if it is uh, your personal uh, developer account you are doing the very first time you will face this issue so for that you need to trust your email ID Apple email ID in your device that's it so after that it will start launching and the actual the test runner is started okay so you can quit this no problem yes done so next so what i'll uh, need to do in xcode i need to build this sample app first so in order to run just i'm going to show something so this in this video i'm just going to launch the app and do something here and that that's it okay so i'm um, i need to uh, validate i need to uh, make same certificate yeah it's done so probably you need to add something yes or com dot test is so basically it will come com dot uh, facebook dot integration app I just add a test and yes that's it so just you need to run it once yes so probably it get launched getting a running integration app on my device yes okay cool it's get launched okay now what are you going to do I'll stop it I'll go and get that IPA file so you can go to project setting from there go to drive data in the drive data I'll go into web driver agent and say build products debug OS I'm just copying this put it on desktop so probably previous one just I'm going to replace it that's it done so almost everything is set up is done so all the setup is done so now I'm going to Eclipse so already I do have a project sample project okay so the desired capability is APM version is 1.6 and platform version is IBS and platform version uh, platform is IBS and platform version is 10.2 my device name is this and UDI ID is this and the path of integration app is this uh, here the path where is my integration app I copy and paste it and that's it so this is uh, the basic simple I'm just going to click attributes and label and set the slider bar that's it well, what I'm going to do now there is some issue let me fix it no need of this actually okay so now I'm going to start the APM now sorry not here go to home page 
start with you. Cool. It started the APM server. So finally everything is set. So just we will starting the test. Just start the test now. Run us. Job application. Let me open the quick. And then the case just started. So starting the web driver agent. started the brave region now it will start the integration app yes it started just clicking attribute then type something yep cool so so this is the basic setup in the real iOS device I mean, just ran some some sort of uh, sample is just clicking the attributes and clicking the label and then just setting the seek bar and this is a slider that's it okay i think hope this video helped you to set up the ios uh, test in real device so thanks thanks for watching this video on my channel and subscribe the channel if you want more videos like this and please post your question in comments so that i can help you in whatever you whatever you are asking okay thank you bye